Hello there, I'm Snorlax coming at you live from Jubilife Village. And this is the story of how humans and Potato Mochi learn to live in harmony. If you've played Pokemon Legends Arceus, you probably know about a character named Benny right behind me. And it is this guy's mission in life to talk about Potato Mochi. He doesn't talk about anything else. He's making Potato Mochi with one hand and... He asked me, I think he's up to something. He's using his other hand to tear open the space-time continuum, all to find more people to feed Potato Mochi to. Don't trust this guy. Potato Mochi. 50% Potato, 50% Mochi. To fully understand Potato Mochi, you must first understand its component parts. Potatoes. It's a tuber. And I'm a YouTuber, so I know all about this. Potatoes were first cultivated in, I assume you know what a potato is. We should probably talk about potatoes in Japan, hang on. Potatoes in Japan. So there's a very specific region of Japan that is known for specializing in potato products. Can you guess which one? You should see a quiz on your screen. Vote now using the comment section. Congratulations! I mean, it doesn't matter which answer you picked, because I know if you're here, you're a Pokemon fan, so I went ahead and made the quiz about as easy as the games. You can't get it wrong. Uh, no matter what you picked, Northern Japan, Hokkaido, Sinnoh, Hisui, it's all the same! Uh, Northern Japan, uh, specifically the island of Hokkaido, which Sinnoh and I guess also Hisui are based on, they're known for... Potato products! So it's not completely random that Benny just wants to shove potato products in your face. Uh, Hokkaido is also known for one other type of product being dairy, including cheese, uh, but not including me because my family is actually from Kansai, which is quite far away. The ingredient I imagine you're a lot more curious about is the mochi. So there's no real English word for this, I guess the closest is rice cake, but it's not the kind that just popped up on your screen. This is in fact a glutinous rice cake. And you know what? I'm gonna be brutally honest, okay? We're in Hisui, there are no PCs, so I'm not gonna be PC. I'm gonna speak my mind, and it's time you knew. I'm a ricist, all right? Not all rice is created equal, and that's okay. Long grain rice? It's not for me. Now you might be saying, what about all these wonderful long grain rice dishes? Well, you know what? More for you. I don't like it. Short grain rice all the way for me. And after that rice is tirade, uh, you don't actually use short grain rice to make this. Uh, you use a special kind of glutinous rice, which you pretty much can't eat, aside from making it into mochi or these glutinous rice cakes. How do you do that? Well, you cook the rice, then you put it in a big bowl, and then you beat it with hammers until it turns into this. You can actually see that happening in the village in Monster Hunter Rise, uh, except it's not quite that gooey, and also it's probably being made by, you know, humans. You might also be seeing a picture of Young Cheese making mochi back in college, along with the guy who's holding the camera right now. And if you don't see that, it's because I couldn't find the pictures and I cut it from the video. So now that you're well-versed in both potatoes and mochi, I'll let you in on a little secret. Potato mochi has no mochi. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's basically uh, what we'd call a potato pancake, but it does incorporate a secret ingredient to give that a little, little bit extra gooiness, and that ingredient is... This stuff, it is called katakuriko. So kata means basically like single-sided or kind of like half. Kuri means uh, chestnut and ko means powder. So all together it means, say it with me, potato starch. What a great language. Let's lay out all the ingredients. And just a disclaimer here that this isn't really a cooking tutorial. <laughs> I'm more considerate a history lesson with a little bit of a taste test at the end. But I'm not going to show you step by step everything. I'm just going to kind of describe the process to you. Maybe incorporate some shots from the actual cooking. All right, so first you need, as we mentioned, the potato starch. How much? I've got to look it up. Then you need potatoes. What kind? 
I don't know. Uh, at the supermarket, it literally just said potatoes from Hokkaido. So we've got the Hokkaido part. What kind of potatoes are these? I have no clue. I hope it works. Uh, then you'll need some salt. Uh, you can either actually use salt or use your feelings about playing Legends Arceus. Why are the graphics so bad? Why can't I sort my boxes? It was still a fun game overall, so I think I'd still recommend it. And it's not exactly traditional, but we will be adding in a little cheese. I think we'll go with store-bought. The first step is to basically just make mashed potatoes. All right, so we can start that pretty easily. Take the potato and you mash it. You might have to boil them first. And we're back. I've converted that bag of potatoes into this lovely bowl of mash. And now it's time to add the other ingredients. Uh, salt, I don't really know how much, but I mean, probably a lot, right? That's probably fine. Uh, I've got this cheese, I guess I'll add it in last, but I, I kid you not, this says healthy shred. It's got 70% less cholesterol, and I am a Snorlax, so maybe I should try to cut calories where I can. And probably the most important ingredient, I guess aside from the potatoes, the also potato potato starch. Uh, I think the recipe said to do one tablespoon per potato. I, I maybe should have counted how many potatoes I used, but I mean, we'll just try putting some in. Maybe a little more than that. I'm sure it'll work. Uh, we'll cut to when it actually works. Movie magic. Technology is incredible. And now we have these lovingly crafted potato mochi patties just ready, just begging to be dipped into some nice hot oil that's right there. I just have to, you know, pour the oil and actually make it hot. It's gonna be great. Uh, before that, I think we may as well just test the I guess you'd call this dough, as it is right now. So this is, it's basically just mashed potatoes, salt, potato starch, uh, and, and a little bit of cheese. You should definitely cook this. Yo, okay, are you seeing this? I know you are because I, I told you to come film this, but <laughs> look, look at this. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. It looks pretty good. I'm, I'm excited, like this browning, I ran out of words to say, it looks good. <laughs> Dear viewer, you can see it right now. Look at these golden brown potato mochi. You can't smell it, uh, you're not really missing much because it doesn't really smell like anything, but it looks really, really good. Uh, this is the power of the potato starch. Now I believe you're supposed to take these uh, sheets of seaweed. So we said earlier, these are 50% potato, 50% mochi. These are in fact 50% sea, 50% weed. And you just, uh, you take the potato mochi, it's really hot, I should have let these cool. <laughs> and then you, you, you make a little, uh, a little blanket to allow the mochi to reach their final form. So look at this. Uh, and now it's time for the taste test. I believe you can apply a soy sauce and sugar glaze to these. So if you look these up online, you'll see ones that are kind of coated in a, in a syrup. I did not do that uh, because I was going to say because it's not in character, but I, I literally am a Snorlax, so I probably should have done that. <laughs> it's just a mistake. Regardless, let's give these a taste. Huh. Hot! Okay, um, keep rolling. Uh. Soto wa sakusaku. Naku wa mochi mochi. Sore wa jaga mochi toyu mono da yo. I hope that was right. Anyway, the outside, really nice and crispy. The inside, so fluffy, way too oily. I messed up on that. Uh, but overall, Benny, you're out of a job, man. These are really, really good. It basically just tastes like a potato pancake with a little extra bit of fluffy chewiness thanks to the starch. This is really good. Yeah. Honestly, these are so good. You kind of forget for a second that you're trapped in another time and you'll probably never see your friends or family again.